Okay, people, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well and in good health. Okay, so you on this our Guardian article it says UK inflation falls to 3.4% in February as food prices slow. Let's see what's going on here right now. UK inflation fell to 3.4% in Feb, the lowest level for two and a half years, driven in part by a slowdown in the pace of food and restaurant price rises. The bigger than forecast forecast decline in the consumer price index, aka the CPI, from 4% in Jan will give a boost to Rishi Sunak, who has pledged to reduce inflation and to add speculation that the Bank of England will cut interest rates this summer. However, Labour and Trade Union said many families still faced a cost of living crisis after an almost 25% whopping increase in the cost of food since Jan 2022 over the last couple of years and a doubling of gas prices since the start of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Most economists had predicted that February's headline figure from the Office of National Statistics would drop to 3.5%, the lowest since September 21, when it was 3.1%. A reduction in the rate of inflation does not mean that prices are falling, just they are rising more slowly. Investors are betting that the inflation will tumble further through the spring months, reflecting the sharp decline in the price of natural gas since last year and a slowdown in food prices. You can see on the chart there. So, the bank maintained an inflation target of 2% and the central bank is forecasting that CPI will fall below 2% in April and staying there for much of the summer. However, the central bank's policymakers are expected to leave the base interest rate unchanged at 5.25% when they meet on Thursday. Paul Dales, a chief UK economist at Consultancy Capital Economics, predicted inflation would drop towards 1% after April. And this deeper than expected fall would push the bank to cut rates in summer. Our view that inflation will fall below 2% in April and then ease towards 1% suggests that BOE may, that's the Bank of England, may have to start cutting rates in the summer and reduce them to 3% next year, Dale said. February's fall in CPI was widespread across most categories, with food inflation declining from 7 to 5%, down from a peak of 19.1% wow, in March last year. Restaurant and hotel price inflation dropped from 7 to 6%. Second hand car prices also slumped by 7.3% in the last year, compared with the annual decline of 5.9% in Jan. The measure of core inflation, which ships out volatile elements like oil and food prices, declined from 5.1% to 4.5%. Services inflation, which is closely watched by the central bank for signs that domestic inflation is easing, fell by 0.1 percentage points less than expected from 6.5 to 6.1. According, uh, accordingly, inflation is no more persistent than the Bank of England expected and is moving in line with the path that the bank has entered would warrant interest rate cuts at Dales. Wage rises across the hotels and restaurant uh, hospitality sectors have pushed up consumer prices and are due to increase further than when the national minimum wage goes up nearly 10% in April. Wages have also risen by more than inflation in the business services and financial services sector, where skill shortages have put pressure on prices. US inflation increased from 3.1% in, uh, in January to 3.2% in February, while across the 20-member Eurozone consumer prices dropped to 2.6% in February from 2.8% in Jan. The current Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, said inflation had fallen decisively in a sign that the government's economic plans were working. This sets the scene for better economic conditions, which could allow further progress on our ambition to boost growth and make work pay by bringing down national insurance as we work towards abolishing the double tax on work. But only if we can do so without increasing borrowing or cutting funding for public services, he said. His Labour counterpart, potentially the next Chancellor, uh, if Labour wins the general election this year, Richard Reeve dismissed Hunt's claims the Shadow Chancellor said prices remain high while the tax burden is the highest it has been in 70 years and mortgage payments are going up. That's why a lot of people are feeling the squeeze right now in terms of financially the ones living in the West and here particularly in the UK. So in February in 2023 annual inflation was 10.1% down from a peak of 11.1% in October 2022. The General Secretary of the Trade Union Congress Paul Nowak said the decline in inflation would provide scant relief for hard-pressed families. Prices are still going up just a little more slowly, he said. Okay, there you have it. UK inflation rates at the moment as it stands in the, you know, just past middle of March 
2024. Okay, people, please do like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you think about inflation rates. Are you still feeling the pinch? Are uh, food prices going, you know, I know the inflation is down, but the prices are still high and they're going down slowly. But is it affecting you? Is the cost of living crisis affecting you? Do let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe.